So can anybody respond? Uh, are you able to see my screen here? Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. Thank you. Let me you know, put a screen uh, screen mode. Yeah. Okay. So as I've already mentioned, this is a session three. Uh, in previous two sessions, uh, in first session, we what we did was that we will solve uh, recent 20, 2020 questions, and uh, the session two was uh, like we discussed about unit hydrographs. Now this is session three. Uh, we will uh, discuss the critical flow. Okay. Before proceeding the critical flow, let's look at the specific energy. Okay. So what is the specific energy? So it is an energy per kg of water. So remember energy per kg of water at any section of a channel measured with respect to the channel bottom. See if you look if you take any channel it will have a water level like this and it will have a depth y and it will have some velocity head also. So let's say this is a datum we consider. With respect to the datum, there will be Z also. So now the specific energy what we do is that we will neglect this uh, we will consider bed as a datum. So we will neglect this Z and we will consider bed as a datum. This is our datum and we will calculate the energy with respect to the bed okay so energy per kg of water at any section of a channel with respect to the channel bottom that will be y so this is a uh, full form it can be written as y square by 2z also so so as we know q equal to av so v equal to q by a so by replacing that you will get this q square by 2 is see the writing in this form will help us in uh, solving the questions that's why i directly written this q square by 2z into a square directly here but remember that this will be like y square plus sorry y plus v square by 2z so this is a specific equation let's say look at this general equation this is a general equation for the total energy So it has this datum head and uh, potential head as well as a kinetic head. So from this equation to, to, to get this specific energy, we made the following assumption. One is that potential energy is zero. That is, uh, what does it, does it mean? We consider that channel bottom as a datum. So indirectly we kept z is equal to zero and we neglect, we, we assume that channel slope is small. So when we go, when we put cos of, let's say 0 0.005, it will be approximately one only. So that's why we assume that, let's say channel slope is small. In open channels, like ch the channel slope will vary from one in thousand, one in uh, five thousand in that manner only it will be there. So this is a fairly, uh, uh, fairly accurate assumption. And another important assumption is that momentum factor is one, this alpha. So assume that channel has a uniform flow. In that case, a kinetic moment factor can be assumed as a one. So from this general equation, we brought to the specific energy equation with this following assumptions. Okay. So I hope it is clear. So, okay. Let's say uh, there are a few important points I have noted down. Let's uh, read one by one. For a given channel section and a discharge Q, the specific channel energy in the channel is function of depth only. See, as you as you see here it will be like q square by 2g into a square a is nothing but b into y let's say for example rectangle channel if you take as, as i mentioned that let's say the b is constant we can, we won't change this width of the channel so then this specific energy will be of depends on function of y only the functional relationship can be very like it, it can be f of x into f x, x y like that so that is the first point so e will be function of y here y is a flow depth okay so now a plot which is drawn between 
depth of the flow y on a specific energy e is called a specific energy curve as it's shown here in uh, right side of the uh, slide see here this is a uh, sample uh, channel cross section and uh, this is a specific energy curve and this specific energy curve uh, consists of one 45 degrees line as well as one uh, specific energy curve so here for a given discharge q this is one specific discharge curve and suppose if for the if the discharge is varying the specific energy will vary and the corresponding curve will shift either to the right side or to the uh, left side depends upon the discharge okay so if it is a greater discharge it will move to, towards uh, uh, outward side if it is a lesser discharge then move towards the uh, origin side okay and this specific energy curve consists of two limbs one is ac one is ac another is cb okay another is cb and these two limbs has a different functions here so this particular limb it is corresponding to the supercritical flow region it's corresponding to the super uh, supercritical uh, flow region and this corresponds to the subcritical flow region uh, let me uh, add other two layers So, as I mentioned that uh, it has a two limbs. One is a uh, subcritical, supercritical limb. Another is a subcritical limb. So, for a given dish, for a given specific energy E, if you observe, there are two depths. One is y1, another is y2. If you clearly observe y1 and y2. So for the, these two depths are observed for a same specific energy. And these two depths are called as alternative depths. Okay. So this is a very important point. So this you can expect as a one mark question in gate and it has been asked two times in a uh, history. So we will also solve the similar question one. Okay. So it is, it is, these are nothing but alternative depths. Okay. So let's say how we can read this um, curve. Let's say any point P on the curve. Let's say maybe we can take this P, maybe P1. Let's say how we can read this will be P1. Let's say this P1 can be read as be here. Sorry, here let's take this P. It can be read, read as sum of pressure head y plus velocity head v square by 2z. Okay, so it will be like let's say here corresponded like uh, here v square by 2z plus y2 that will be corresponding to that p so p any point any point of p on the curve the ordinates represents the depth and abscess are represent the specific energy which is equal to sum of pressure head y and the velocity head v square by 2z okay so it is how we can read here let's say here y is this one Suppose if you draw similarly on a 45 degrees line, it will be like up to here only. But the point P here, the difference is V square by 2Z. Okay. So that will be this. This will be E specific energy. Okay. So here, one this star mark is very important. So for a given specific energy, we have a two possible depth. One is y1, another is y2. These two are called as alternative depths. So the smaller depth will be subcritical, sorry, supercritical, and the larger depth will be subcritical. And one another important point is that at point C C dash or C or C double dash, the specific energy will be minimum for a given distance. And this 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 corresponds to critical state of flow. So what are the conditions for critical state of flow? The very first condition is Crowd number is 1, so which is nothing but fr, fr equal to V upon root over into G into D. 
here d is a hydraulic depth okay it's a hydraulic depth suppose if you if you if this uh, becomes one then it will be for a critical state of flow and the second condition is that the specific energy is minimum for the critical state of flow that is d by dy equal to 0 for a given discharge q okay so given this critical state of flow the velocity head will be equal to half of the hydraulic depth or a flow depth we can say flow depth also in fee case so suppose in this case y equal to v square by 2g is nothing but y plus d by 2 so for rectangle suppose if you take for a rectangle the hydraulic depth will be hydraulic depth will be equal to y hydraulic depth approximately equal to y so we, by substituting that we will get a ec equal to 3yc by 2 so how we can read the minimum critical energy critical specific energy is 1.5 times of critical depth here okay so before before solving these questions on the particular uh, topic let's do let's look at the two examples here so one uh, these are the two local phenomena so we often observe in the uh, channels in the channels one is like a free fall free or fall another is a hydraulic jump so can anybody say why do we create a hydraulic like when when this hydraulic jump happens like any idea in a practical case um, anybody like volunteer you can mention like what situations you can observe like a practical situations you can observe this hydraulic jump one? hello is dam example of hydraulic jump correct and what else where, where else you can observe like uh, because water is falling from great height correct correct and uh, this free or free or fall at just end of, end of the section end of this uh, tunnel anywhere okay so let's look at this how this uh, given these are the condition so how this uh, specific energy will vary let's see so given this is a channel and there is a sudden uh, fall i mean sudden fall not a gradually okay sudden fall so given this sudden fall then how much change in the specific energy will you can observe let's say as i mentioned this will be subcritical region this will be subcritical this will be supercritical okay suppose this is e1 and this is e minimum okay so as the water flows along the channel and when it when it experiences a sudden fall the energy available with the water will be dissipated slowly will be dissipated slowly okay suppose if there is no external energy supplied to the water then the available specific energy with the water will be minimum which is nothing but e minimum okay and e minimum so if you look at the e minimum it will be here and initial may be here somewhere okay there is a delta delta e change in the specific energy so specific energy okay so and the depth the depth so initially the initially it may have y1 depth and as because of this sudden fall if you if you take this section here so that the depth will reduce to yc okay so in this way we can look at the specific energy so these kind of observations will be helpful while solving the um, channel width contraction or creation of hump so this analogy will help you in there okay suppose let's look at the hydraulic jump so what is a hydraulic jump it is a rapid it is a rapid change in the depth of flow from low stage always remember that it it appears from it appears from it happens from low stage to high stage okay this will be like a y1 and this will be like y2 sorry okay from low stage to high stage that results in 
usually abrupt rise in the water surface okay so it can also be read as that the rapid change in depth of flow from supercritical to subcritical it can also be read in that way okay so the depth before the jump is called initial depth y1 and the depth after the jump is called sequent depth y2 so I, in the previous slide we talked about one one depth so what is that alternative depths so in the alternative depths that both the depths will have a sp same specific energy but in a hydraulic jump these are called as sequent depths what, what one is what is that one is the initial depth before the jump and another after the jump this is called sequent depth and these two sequent depths will have a same specific force okay same specific force okay here if you look at y1 and y2 but here it will be different here y1 is here and y2 is here okay but y1 has another correspond uh, see alternate depth that is y2 dash okay so this difference has to be remembered clearly so alternative depths will have a same specific energy whereas uh, sequent depths will have same specific force okay so the initial and sequent depths are actual depths before and after depth of because of energy loss delta e okay let's solve one question from gate 2018 set 2 okay gate 2018 set 2 so the question the question the question number is question number 13 so for a given discharge in an open channel there are two depths which have a same specific energy so the these depths are known as so anybody want to have a guess um sir uh, sequent depth but alternate depths are also sequent depths uh, no, just now I have shown you that. So the sequence depths will have a same specific force. Okay, whereas alternative depths will have same specific energy. Okay, so what is the critical depth here? Huh? It's a maximum energy. No, it is a it is a depth corresponding to minimum energy corresponding to E minimum. Okay. And what is the normal depth? Any idea? Like you can guess here. I did not discuss, but you can guess it. What like now what is the normal depth? So this normal depth is depth of depth of flow in a channel provided flow is uniform okay so what is answer here so answer will be alternative depths you can look at here maybe this this example will uh, give you a better idea so this is the one and corresponding to E1, we have one depth Y1. And for the same specific energy, we have Y1. So Y1 equal to Y2 dash. These are the alternative depths. Because these two have same specific energy. So corresponding to Y1, what is Y2? So Y1 equal to Y2. Y2 is here. Maybe you can look at here. Y2 is here these two are sequent depths because same force specific force okay am i clear yes sir okay thank you let's solve another question okay so i'll give one minute time for this question like you can guess it here so let let's read the question so this i have taken from gate 2018 uh, set to question number 23 a 10 meter wide rectangular channel so here wide is width rectangular channel carries a discharge of 20 meter cube per second under the critical conditions it means that e minimum okay keep that in mind using g using g equal to 9.8 meter per second square the specific energy in meter up to only two decimals places see you always clear must remember when there is a like a fill in the blanks question you must read up to what decimals they've been asking whether they are asking for two three or one decimal so accordingly you answer suppose sometimes if they ask for three decimals if you put only two maybe a problem for you 
okay so yeah uh, so anybody wants to guess how we can be solved just uh, you can uh, it can be wrong but you just uh, have it like uh, you can say here how we can solve here this question let me write the given data what is there given uh, width b equal to 10 meter okay and the discharge q equal to 20 meter cube per second okay and g acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square so what is the formula for specific energy specific energy e equal to y plus v square by 2g nothing but pressure head plus velocity head okay so okay so how it can be solved now you know you want to guess anybody so velocity is equal to discharge by areas correct velocity equal to discharge by area okay but do we know why no but remember here there is one point that is given under the critical conditions so let's look at this point and solve so given that d equal to dy is zero that is minimum okay so when e is minimum that differentiation like uh, this is you you must know from mathematics so d equal to dy zero when e equal to minimum and the correspond depth will be yc okay let's solve this question like uh, so for let's say so what will be uh, de by dy so one one so in v square uh, it can be written as i uh, q by a square na q by a na so let's write q square by 2g into y cube so here small q is equal to capital q by small b so this is discharge per unit width okay and uh, okay maybe i can solve more detail here 1 by y, y square so d by dy of 1 by y square is how much okay tell me can anybody guess minus 2 y power minus 2 minus 1 that will be like minus 2 y power minus 3 nothing but minus 2 divided by y3 okay this is how we got this one so provided this is 0 so 1 minus q square by g into y q okay it will be y y c sorry this is y c y c equal to q square by g whole power 1 by 3 okay so let's put what is q 20 by 10 whole square divided by 9.81 whole power 1 by 3 can anybody say the answer how much will be quickly you can calculate and say the answer so maybe parallel we can put this one so now e equal to y, y c plus q square into 2g y c square so we can substitute here and we can get the answer Are you able to solve? Like, did you follow anybody? Okay, let's see the solution. Okay. So, as we know, the specific energy in the channel is E equal to Y plus V square by 2Z. So, this is a flow depth plus velocity head. So, this V can be written as Q by A. So, Q square by A square. And as we know, so given this is a rectangular channel, so it, the area will be B into Y. So, I am just reshuffling the term q equal to q by b okay so i'm sorry introducing that so it will be q square by 2g into y square okay this is a specific energy equation it has given in the question that under the critical condition it means that 
e minimum so it as we know in the maximum minimum of principles from the mathematics mm -hmm. so the slope 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 of this energy curve with respect to y will be zero when e equal to e minimum okay suppose if you take any function if you, if their slope is zero it will have it will have either minimum or maximum depends upon the value okay so this you must you might know from the mathematics like plus plus and mathematics so by by differentiating this energy specific energy with respect to y you will get this equation so because d d y by y equal to 1 minus q square by g is a constant so i have already shown you how we got y cube here so how you d by d by d of d by d y of 1 by y square will be minus 2 by y cube okay so already 1 2 is here so again again we got 2 so 2 2 get cancelled so it will be q square by g y cube so it this equal to 0 now just re shuffle the terms and we got this value so the answer will be 0.74 meters okay so given this is a yc and this is a depth at e minimum which is called critical depth so as we know so, so these are the equation let's substitute this yc in this energy specific energy equation so this will be yc plus q square by 2g into yc square so like there is a direct equation form also 3 by 2 yc 3 by 2 yc so otherwise we can get how we can get here 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 so in this way also we can get how we got yc plus yc by 2 so that will be 3c by 2 so this this is the final equation so from up to how many decimals they are asked? Two decimals. So answer will be 1.11 meters. Okay. So like is anybody have any like do you have any doubts like anyone? See in this in this session I I'll use only three equations. So what is our first equation? only three equations you must remember three equations only okay first one e equal to y plus v square by 2z okay and you know v equal to qa so you can rightly write it as q square by a square into 2z first equation second equation d by dy equal to 0 so which gives e c equal to 3 by 2 y c and y c equal to q square by z into whole power 1 by 3. If you know these three formulas, then you can definitely able to solve these questions from this particular specific energy and critical flow concept. Okay. Just note down these formulas and you can you will able to solve. So let's see the next question. So this question I have taken from uh, gate 2019, C is set 1, the question number is 13. So you observe that previous also question number 13, now also that question number 13. So you can, you can blindly follow where question number 13 may be uh, allocated for the open channel only. So the question is as follows. In the rectangular channel, the ratio of velocity head to the flow depth for a critical flow condition is. So what is the ratio? So, so, they, so they, they, they ask to calculate the ratio of velocity head to the flow depth. Okay. So it can be one by two, or two by three, or three by two, two. So can anybody guess how much will be the answer, and how we can solve? Though it is answer is available here, but you can uh, say in term like voluntarily. How many of you are there in the class? Like, so, are you understood? Okay. So, Pitrabhas told is see any any others uh, uh, want to add? Others, others want to add anything? Maybe you did the good uh, So the answer is is here I already shown but let's okay so as we know e minimum equal to 
yc plus 2 square by 2z into yc square like it can be e or e minimum so as we know sorry as we know specific energy equal to y plus v square by 2z so what is v square by 2z velocity head only okay so the question is that the ratio of velocity head to the flow depth for a critical flow condition so as we know the relation yc equal to u square by g by 1 by 3 or my c cube equal to q square by g from the previous slide so i told you only three equations we should remember for solving all these questions okay so let's see this is the equation i have been showing from the starting of the session y c equal to q square by q square by 2 g into y c square okay so as you know q square equal to q square will be y c cube into g so substitute here so g g will cancel and the square cube will cancel so remaining will be y c plus y c by 2 and you observe this uh, circle so this will be velocity and this will be flow depth so the ratio will be y c by 2 divided by y c so it will be y c by 2 into y c it will be cancelled so answer will be 1 by 2 so option a is correct okay don't get confused so uh, we, we may tend to put this as answer but uh, it is asked to uh, calculate the ratio of velocity head to the flow depth not flow depth to the velocity head okay so am i clear like uh, please respond any, uh, am i clear yes okay, let's proceed to the next question so this question uh, is taken from gate 2017 so this question uh, requires some effort but it is worth to uh, so this is two marks question so see again we'll use the same three formulas here left and right we'll use the same two formulas but it's a little concept okay so i have already told you that this is a specific energy curve for example Okay. I'm very bad uh, drawing here. This one. This is my two. So I, I have already shown you. This is supercritical region. This is subcritical region. Okay. Keep this figure in mind. Let's read the question. So, gate 2017, set uh, gate 2017, uh, set uh, two question I have taken. This is question number is 46. So, a one meter wide, wide means width, width rectangular channel carries a discharge of two meter per second. Let's write the given data. What is the width? B equal to one meter. And what is the discharge? Q equal to 2 meter cube per second. Okay. So it what they have given the specific energy depth diagram. So the specific energy depth diagram is prepared this one for this channel. Okay. They have already prepared the uh, specific energy curve, curve diagram and it is observed in the diagram that corresponding to particular specific energy. Suppose this is a one specific energy they, they have uh, considered the subcritical depth. So, which is this one is twice the supercritical depth. Let's say subcritical depth as y1 and the supercritical depth as y2. So, before uh, let me ask you here, what is the subcritical, uh, subcritical and supercritical uh, flows? Anybody have an idea? Sorry, sorry, there's a lot of noise here. Right now. 
Sorry, and now uh, the voice will be clear. Let's. So yeah, can anybody say what is the like a super, subcritical condition and what is the supercritical condition in terms of road number? Guess like uh, it's mm, it can be wrong also, but you can guess. Anybody voluntarily let's go. Maybe Guvinder or Udita or Likita. Let's say if we consider critical flow is always less than one fraud which is number. less than one fraud number. Fraud number yeah. will be less than one. For a super critical flow, it's fraud number than... will be greater than one. Why? In super critical flow, what is the formula for fraud number? V equal to V upon root into G Y. Okay. The velocity will be is very high and depth will be smaller. Okay. Whereas in subcritical flow the velocity will be small. Okay. Depth will be high. Depth is high. Okay. I, yes. As you can see from the graph here. Okay. That is the reason why you will get less than one, and why that is why reason will get one greater than one. Suppose if if I ask you this question from the hydraulic jump perspective, so let's say this is a hydraulic jump. So where you can observe supercritical depth? This is a supercritical jump. So if you if you if you divide this hydraulic jump section, this will be subcritical uh, subcritical zone, and this will be supercritical zone. So this point you must remember, la. Okay. So as the definition itself says that rapidly change in depth from low stage to the high stage, like smaller depth to high depth. Okay. Okay. That is a, a trivial details. So let's uh, get back to our question. So now. They told that y1 equal to two times of y2, okay? Because the subcritical depth is twice the supercritical depth. So now they ask you to calculate what is the subcritical depth in meters up to two decimals. So always remember when there is a fill in the blank question, you read carefully read up to what decimals they ask, whether two decimals or one decimal or three decimals, okay? So let's so as we know. Alternative depths have same specific energy. That means that E1 equal to E2. Okay, which is nothing but let's say y1 plus q square by 2g y1 square equal to y2 q square by 2g into y2 square. This point is clear. This point is clear. Can anybody please respond? Yes, okay. So, as the definition says that this this the same def this on this definition we solved one question question number thirteen from grade twenty eighteen. So the alternative depths will have same specific energy. So with the same principle, e one equal to v two. So here one is y one will be one y one will be subcritical and y two will be supercritical. Okay. So this is a thing. So let's solve the question. So now I'll equal this equation, these two equations, and let's substitute y1 equal to 2y2. Okay. Substitute y1 equal to 2y2 because it has given subcritical depth is twice the supercritical depth. Okay. So it will become 2y2 plus q square by 2g into 4y2 square because y1 whole square is n. So 2y2. Whole square, it will become 4y2 square, which is equal to y2 plus q square by 2g into y2 square. So let's rearrange the terms. Maybe I can solve here. 2y2 plus q square, uh, 8g. Maybe I can put a 2 into 2g into 4y2 square, equal to y2 plus q square by 2g y2 square. So bring the y2, y2 both y2 on one side. So y2 equal to y2, the q square by 2g, y2 square minus q square by 2g into 4y2 square. Okay. So it will be y2. So let's take common q square by 2g as 
1 by y2 square minus 1 by 4 y2 square okay so it will become y2 equal to q square by g 2g so y2 square also we can take common so it will become 3 by 4 so i understood how it came so it will be like 1 minus 1 by 4 so it will be 3 by 4 okay so they can take this side uh, this as this side and it will be y2 q will be equal to q square by 2g into 3 4 okay so this will be y2 equal to 3 4 of q square by 2g whole power 1 by 3 so once you are able to solve this get this equation the question is straight forward only okay is it clear like maybe I, I even though i have solved step by step am i clear like is there any confusion if, if there is any confusion i can solve one more time so it's see from the starting we are using only the same three equations e equal to y y plus v square by 2g ec equal to 3 by 2 ic and yc equal to q square by g whole power 1 by 3 so now in this question also this is a very important question and it and it is for two marks you can expect the similar kind of questions okay so is it clear like uh, uh, please respond like uh, then only i'll be able to understand whether you were like uh, uh, listening or not yes sir yeah thank you so just we know this formula now substitute so as as i as we know q equal to q by b it will be like q by 2 by 1 so you can submit here 2 by 1 over square 2 into 9.81 is like acceleration due to gravity so it is not given so either way consider the value so uh, this is one important point so these kind of standard values if they are not given you can assume like uh, acceleration due to gravity but most of the cases they should give but in this case they have not given so maybe you can consider okay so 3 3 fourth into 2 by 1 whole square by 2 into 9.21 9.81 whole power 1 by 3 if you if you solve this particular thing it will you will get a 0.534 meter square sorry 0.534 meter see in the gate you need to solve with the help of sign um, virtual calculator only not not with the scientific calculator so always try to um, do bring this terms in a simple term so 0 0.2 3, 3 by 4 we know what is how much uh, 0 0.75 into 2 2 by 1 is will be 2 square so it will be like a 4 and and even this uh, denominator is like 0 0.2 into 9.81 9 na? so this 4 will be cancelled okay or otherwise this will be 3 sorry this will be 3 so you always bring into this smaller fraction so that it it, it will reduce your time in a computation otherwise if you're entering all these terms in calculator and pressing it will look like a lot of your time okay so and always remember this 2g value is a standard maybe you can buy hard it will be like how much it will be so 2 1 6 18 19 so 19.60 is a standard value you can remember always okay and so you will get a 0.34 so but but the question is question is to calculate the subcritical depth so which is nothing but y1 so y1 equal to 2y2 so 2 into 0.534 so the answer will come out to be 1.07 meters okay yeah maybe i'll stop here because uh, this, these are the like uh, some um, important point the questions we have solved and we, we played with the uh, equations here so maybe i'll just uh, interact with you Buddha. yeah uh, so gurbinda singh uh, so did you understood like uh, at least a few uh, few points here so in this uh, session in this session we have only used the three points three portion three formulas i have already shown you okay yes. <coughs> If you remember these three e equations, your job is simple. Okay. So yeah. Okay, sir. So yeah, Likita. Yes, sir. So did you understood like uh, all the questions? Like four questions were solved. Yes, sir. I understood. Thank you. Uh, at this, at
किस हद की अति क्या सॉरी फॉर प्रोनाउंसिंग नाम यस सर सो डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक आई आई होप आई थिंक यू हैव जॉइंड लिटिल लेट बट यस सर डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चंस लाइक सी नो नीड टू फील लाइक फील एज लाइक अ सर एंड अ स्टूडेंट लाइक आई एम आल्सो स्टूडेंट हियर सो आई फॉरगॉट टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ लाइक आई एम अ पीएचडी स्टूडेंट हियर so you can okay. openly talk and uh, discuss this should be interactive session rather than the one like, uh, rather than okay. the teaching session okay so narish narish are you there yes sir so, did you understood like uh, yes sir yes so arnav kumar Fine. I un uh, understood, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, this is about uh, today's session. In the next session, we will uh, discuss about the dimensionless number, like a proud number, an ounce number, and uh, that number, regular number, and all. Um, uh, we will um, we will we will solve some questions on uh, similitude as well, like a uh, model and prototype questions. Which have been uh, very important, but we we have been neglecting these questions. But these questions will cost us simple two marks. Okay. So and these are the very simple question. 